rolling up Uber black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a And what's good my peeps? Look what we have here I know I'm late to the party There was a delay on my shipping They accidentally sent it to a different part of New York um, But I got these guys in and I have to say right off the bat, they're amazing. I was holding off on pre-ordering the uh, uh, the Foot Soldiers with uh, man, uh, with Shredder and um, Bebop Rocksteady, but I think I'm probably going to go all in. I was waiting for something to bring me back into 118 scale, and this might be it. It's amazing, folks. Um, hello again, and this is Ben with That Damn Figure Show, and welcome back. I know it's been a while. Uh, life has been pretty crazy. I know I've said this before, um, but, you know, it is what it is. So I am here to do this review. And, um, as you guys can see, they can hit pretty god dang dynamic poses, if I do say so myself. Um, I don't even know where to start. Uh, I don't want to knock anything down because it took me a while to get Mikey and Leo, well, not Leo, uh, Don Nutello to get them balanced like that. And it's it's hilarious that I could even do it. I, I actually think the best one to show off um, his posing is, is actually probably Raphael. So I'm going to show Raphael. Um, excuse me, good sir. As a matter of fact, I have an idea uh let's see yep i have a random stand you know i have a random stand here from for donnie that i could get him to stand while i'm doing this so bear with me i'm gonna put leo in the middle you the leader so and here goes donnie a random stand that i have here I wish I had more of those stands. They're like perfect. But yes, folks. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to get right into it. So Raphael is, is they're, they're all pretty much, they have the same articulation, but I'm going to point out right away that uh, right here, some of them have different, you know, uh, accessories on their hips. Like Mikey has one on his uh uh right leg well yeah right leg he has it on his um he also has it on his right leg he has it on both legs you know so some some of that hinders the movement but um we're gonna get into it here let's see here i hope it's see if i can get the lighting to be right on top of them yeah that looks good Wow, the shadowing, it's amazing. I like how the light's catching the shadows. It looks fantastic. This one might be a long one because of the toy photography you saw in the beginning is just a little bit. I just, it was just an introduction. So at the end, I'm going to have more. But yeah, folks, so Mike, uh, Raphael could get the splits. But you see here, um, you have to maneuver this part right here in a way so you could get to do the split. Um, like that, they not all of them do so. Like the muscles of the quad is going to get in the way and he's going to start to slip down. But you could still get it pretty far if you fandangle it right. So yeah, look. That is magnificent. There's a... Some of my buddies got reviews out on these guys already that went over a lot of their accessories. Um, I just wanted to go over just how they move. Um, and their accessories are amazing, too. I already put their best accessories on them. Uh, Mikey has his, you know, spinning ninchuck. He has his action swords. Uh, Donnie has his spinning stick. Uh, that's there's nothing more you could ask for, really. This is this is amazing. If I had to nitpick, uh, I don't want to nitpick because they're they're great figures. Um, I would want them to be a little bit more articulated because like 
they don't have a good you know uh, a crunch here their head is a very is very good it moves around their arms are, are good their legs you know gets in the way you know the shell gets in the way but you know what are they gonna do these are turtles so i don't know how much more they could do so i'm not complaining it's just that if i had it my way i would try to make them even more articulated but yes you know you have the double joint here and i don't know how they were able well i'm pretty sure they must have taken like tlc with these figures because they you can't get this off i i don't the the only way i could imagine you getting this off is heating it up and taking it apart and then putting on the knee you know the knee pad over it after you've taken it apart and then putting it back i don't know how they did it it's really tight maybe they just you know heated it up and just stretched it over but yeah look at that the just just Raphael with his size the the effects of the size is amazing i i just can't folks you just can't get any better i don't know if this is your thing but this definitely like don't get me wrong i like the warhammer stuff warhammer stuff is cool i'm not into it like that i do like warhammer but i'm not into it like that those figures are very expensive and um i have just i have a little bit of space and you guys know i like godzilla and ultraman stuff as well so like I, I don't have much space so my wife loves my collection as well so she's she i'm pretty sure she's gonna dig these she's probably gonna comment on this um but yeah it's it's amazing i just can't say enough about this just look at that look at they hit the t pose well you could even get him to do like a new nice little action hit like pose if you wanted to like the way i had him on the stand uh, i made these stands that i just butchered higher toy stands but um you could get you know him on this stand and you could get some good poses out of him yeah that was my first my first try yeah but look folks th this is what it is it looks amazing i i know my buddies i know skelly is having fun with these i know adam from awesome action toys i know he's having fun with this i also saw that uh i don't know i've never spoken to this guy before but i saw d amazing also has these guys in so i can't wait to see what he did i've been avoiding their reviews because i i want i didn't want to get inspired by anything that they were doing but i know how they do their videos i'm pretty sure they went out for all the uh accessories and such um but yeah folks i think one of the biggest things that i was excited about is pairing these guys up with different figures you know because like t the teenage mutant Ninja turtles have had so many crossovers with other franchises but I love having fun mixing stuff together. So this review uh, is going to be also about like fun things that I thought you could pair them up with. You know, like I <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoy that part because that, that's the part I'm excited about the most. Uh, so um, we're going to get into that in a few. I just want to show these guys off, you know, a little more. Um, and if you're curious on where I got these stands from, this is, uh, from the Archie, Ar Archicore figures, those like really 135 scale soldiers that look like Warhammer, um, figures, uh, they come with these, some, some of them come with these stands. So I decided to, you know, use it for that. I think I mentioned this before. Yeah, that looks amazing. Look at that. Yeah, folks. But yeah, you're seeing it here, how, how I got these guys. Yeah, they're, they're super fun. You can articulate them. Um, you just please be gentle because you don't want to. I know everyone wants to see Mikey. Uh, I got some ideas with Mikey. Well, I can't wait till you guys see the uh, uh, photos I have after with Mikey. And um, Oh my God, it's so fun. So I'm going to take a break and it'll be a quick one for you guys. But we're going to get into some size comparisons. All right, my peeps. So, yeah, so here we're going to start some of the size comparison now. We're going to keep it basic until we get, like, to the end. I'm going to cut away again when I, when I go to, like, the cooler things I think is going to look good with this collection. It goes really well. Uh, but here's uh, two Joy Toy figures. This is one from uh, one of the previous uh, Army Builders. This here actually is my favorite one. And then we have one of these Chase figures from um joy toy that they did a few years ago this is hunter 
Let's see, get that lighting nice. Yes. Yeah, looks great. So yeah, that looks good. They look fantastic with, with just about all your joy toys and stuff. All right, I'm gonna put these guys to the side. Now I'm gonna get uh, two of my uh, recent favorites, which is from Fresh Monkey Fiction. And these are the, you know, the, the, the SWAT members. I forget their names, but you know, they're obviously, this is Arnold. Uh, let's see if I could get him to stand in one shot because it's on a piece of cardboard. Oh, hold on. Damn you, Arnold. There you go. Let's see. Yeah, so here's Arnold. And here's my custom uh, Carl Weathers. Fresh monkey fiction and body. And you see that looks pretty cool. You know, like normal humans next to some of these mutated turtles. I actually dig the cartoony look of the Fresh Monkey Fiction stuff. It, I feel like it goes very, very well with the turtles. And I'm digging this. Obviously, I customized them. Dutch has a different armor. Um, this is Carweather's head with, you know, a few armor bits from Joy Toy. All right. Do -do -do -do. Let's see here. Let us do some Acid Rain. Uh, I forget who which which samurai or no which ninja this is but this is from the mishaku and narien um um box set that came out and then we have here uh oh my god for uh, big head kelsey yeah there we go oh wow i had to remember my nickname for her i think i had a cuss in there for her but I'm trying to lean away towards that a little bit but yes Big ass head curve. <laughs> I said it anyway. But yeah, these are some acid rain, standard acid rain figures. Um they look good. They, these are just as comic booky, cartoony as you know the Ninja Turtles. Raphael looks awesome next to them as well. Alright, let's keep it moving forward. Now, what I think is what I think is a really good and like very wanted. Uh, us, you know, uh, um, comparison is probably going to be some of the higher toys, um, higher toys GI Joe stuff. So I have here Snake Eyes. That looks dope. I did this review last last year of both of them, and I also have. Storm Shadow, and here comes Sh Storm Shadow. Now, I think this, this is the, one of the things that I, I'm pretty sure a bunch of people are going to do. They're going to pair all these guys together because they look fantastic. I'm just going to take, just to show some appreciation and get all angles here. I think that looks fantastic so that looks amazing and of course you know while we're on Haya let's do some of my favorites you know I you, know, you guys know I love me some xenomorphs and predators and such like that and you know that these pre these xenomorphs are kind of hard to stand so I'm gonna kind of do it off screen a little bit uh Oh, okay. Looks like I got it. It looks like I got it in one shot. All right. Oh, wow. Here's the AVP. Um, the first AVP predator. I mean, alien, sorry. Oh, my God. What's wrong with me today? And then I have here the alien versus predator requiem warrior alien. That looks amazing, actually. I think the warrior alien looks better than the one from the first movie but i gotta get him to stand so i apologize folks for some reason you know how this goes when someone tries to do this on camera they start screwing up there you go again let's show some appreciation there we go hey, these look all right of course they've had crossovers before i think probably fan fiction fan fiction but yeah this looks amazing 
This looks dope. I dig it. I hope you guys dig it too. Uh, this was the part I was excited for the most. Like, you know, the, the size comparisons and like just, just having fun with your figures and mixing them up. You know, this is not the only fun part. It's gonna obviously it's gonna be the photo collage and the at the end as well. And so here you go. We got the battle damage Celtic Predator with the Super Predator Berserker from Predators. And yeah, that looks cool. <laughs> I dig it. I think that looks lovely. And um wow. <laughs> That looks cool. I didn't mess around with these earlier, so like this is my first time comparing them now. Uh, and I have to say that that looks amazing. Uh, and of course, let's do some vintage collection stuff before we, we cut this. And we're going to go to uh, Book of Boba Fett. Um, this is 3.75 inch. The turtles are 4 inches. And this is uh, Black Chrysanthemum as well and he looks amazing next to these guys i have to say black chrysanthemum probably he, he could probably beat one turtle by himself he'd probably get his ass whooped if he takes on both of them i mean all, all four of them but yeah that's amazing and now what's gonna get into uh the fun part of this i'm gonna cut away after i show these two but the moment these guys got announced i was like oh i'm pairing it up with the, uh, you know, the Wunan and Tenjin Yu figures that came out uh, a year or two ago as well. And I feel like this is what sparked Joy Toy into wanting the Turtles. Uh, that's that's the story I'm sticking with. Um, and I have to say that that looks amazing. I'm going to adjust the light for you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Mikey's falling back here. But look at that that looks that looks legit that looks like how it should be like it looks how this is like how it should be like this the these are kung fu based characters with some um japanese based martial artists you know being in the turtles they're ninjas uh mikey's gonna be hard to get back and i have ocd so this is gonna be a pain if i don't get it uh come on come on come on come on Come on. Yeah, let's put you back here. Oh, you guys saw I had him up earlier, so I get points. Oh, I got it. Okay. Yes, people. So yeah, this is this is um absolutely so fun. I, I have a really interesting one after this, so please stay tuned for that one. I'll I'll be right back. And how is this my babes look at all look at this in all its glory look at that margo and sergeant Daruk. i immediately was like oh yeah this is gonna be paired together always of course this is a little misunderstanding that they had of the turtles have a little crush on margo and daddy Daruk is like uh -uh. <laughs> he got mikey <laughs> uh, he's actually holding mikey pretty well uh i got mikey holding his finger uh but yeah my peeps i am digging it leo ain't playing ralph ain't playing well raph ain't playing donnie ain't playing he's like trying to you know be peacekeeper but yeah how's this for a size comparison folks i got i really hope you guys enjoyed this I'm going to have some lovely um, photos at the end. I appreciate if you guys watched the whole video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Love you guys. This has been with That Damn Figure Show, and I am out. Peace. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down I'll be getting loud, you can have me doubts, not what I'm about Have your fucking cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound Go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now You don't wanna fuck with me a slow burn like a disease